Can I do the intro? Yep, give me a second, I'll tell you when. Alright, three, two, one. Hello, and welcome to levelupyourgame.net. The show that does for Fridays and Saturday nights what 10 pints of lager does for Sunday mornings. But we're going to be bringing you Sweden against Finland tonight, and it's going to be brilliant. Or so we hope. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ripped that off. I've got news for you. Uh, have they done the pummel? I don't think so. No, uh, I don't think they We did ask them to wait just so everybody could see. So. Finland. I've got Gerpa, Thigo, Witt and Dim open tonight. But Sweden have got like six or seven players on the server. So some combination of... I'll do it in a moment. We've just got the pummel going on. Red flag. I think... I think Sparty's going to win. He's the LPB. And it's come to the water. dimo has got to escape. Oh my god, it's even. I think one more pummel for each of them. Oh my god! You should have kept the high ground. Spy <laughs> power. I'd just like to say for everyone on stream is Sweden win that pummel there. It is my first time streaming with my new connection. I put our resolution down a little bit um, just to make sure we run into no issues. But, you know, if there's occasional FPS spike, I'm really, really sorry. And, uh, I thought it'd be a good time to get in and test it, otherwise, we would have no stream for this game. So, don't hate us too much. Do we know the map pool for the uh, clan based nation? But obviously, you're playing in the UK, so I'm sure you, you do know. Uh, yes. Ooh. Yes, it's everything except Finnegan's, I believe, which is CP1, CP5, Ironworks, Siberia, Troubled Waters, Courtyard, Stonekeep. I don't think I've missed anything. No, definitely a nicer map pool than the last Nation Cup when it was just four maps pretty much and then just one everybody hated. <laughs> Although, to be fair, last time I commentated CTF, there was a lot of CP wine, and then a lot of Siberia wine, and then we saw Ironworks, and uh, I think that was NL versus UK, actually, where you lost 2-1, I think? Yes. We did some pretty cool stuff, though. We've got new tactics for next time. Yes, yeah, so I hope we can uh, get a better result next time. Did you actually, uh, you guys still in the tournament then, even though I lost to NL? I, I'm not too clued up on where we are in the... It's still the group stage, oh, yeah. Group and stage. We've got two games to play. We did ha we had already played Spain and won 2-0, but well, then sort of Jazz and Rudio sort of happened. So we're gonna have to replay a Spanish game. And we've got to play Switzerland stuff. So. Oh that's good, so they're actually allowing you to replay it then, right? They're not gonna uh, well, default it or anything like that. I don't know. We're well we've said we really should replay it, because yeah. you know I mean, regardless of Jazz's aimbot, I was watching Adam yesterday, and his movement was arguably better than uh, Jazz's as well, so I, I would still favour you guys to win if you do replay. You are, hopefully we do. You know, I don't know when those two games are. Q50 made one up on Thursday, he's going to hate me for saying that. It's true. <laughs> it's like, you got this all together, it's like, oh sorry, we don't actually have a game. <laughs> sorry, cop. Everybody hates Carly, he hates Mumble, guys, so if you see him, Q50 on QuakeNet, spam him with a lot of flame, tell him Mumble rules, TeamSpeak draws, and I'll be happy at least. Is he make, did he make you use TeamSpeak for the, the game yesterday? He, yes, he hates Mumble. Yeah. Honestly, guys, just just throw lots of abuse his way. I think you can find him in hash qout.uk on QuakeNet, or just go to levelupyourgame.net, click live chat, when you're in the system on QuakeNet, just type in forward slash j space ql.uk and then you'll also be able to speak to Betty R and uh, all the other UK guys on the channel as well. But uh, yeah, obviously we don't want to talk too much about UK, we're just waiting for these guys to sort out maps, join teams, but you can get everyone in the teams. Um, so don't keep being removed, it's not a surprise, I mean... I, I don't, just don't like that map. One of the new ones, right? Um, yeah. Saying. yeah, it's so hard to intercept it. You either need to have to have a rail gun like all the time, which is really pretty hard because there's only one and it's in base, or you need to be stood in exactly the right place, which is like not going to happen because there's so many ways to leave. 
Yeah. Yeah, I think I actually played that once for Kron's team. Kron is the guy that gives us all the BNCs and the, the bots you see spamming in IRC. Very nice man. But uh, yeah, I think I played with him and Diabs on just one match in it. It seems like it really heavily favours the more aim based players as well. Being uh, quite open. It does. It also, it's kind of a weird map in that getting in is aim, but getting out a runner is like really nice. Because like, yeah. there's so many ways to just like trick and dodge and dive around the defenders. You know, if you've got a good runner, you know, they won't get him. Yeah. yeah. So just waiting on Finland to decide which map to remove. Excellent. Impressive. Hopefully soon. It's a little bit odd that, um, I think, that Sweden removed first. Usually make your enemy remove. So that way it works out better for you. Yeah, so you can, uh, pick the map. It's like, then remove, then... It's like you, you're the one that's deciding what the map's about. I suppose it doesn't really matter for the initial two for the third. No, I just scrolled up. C10 was chucked, Stonekeep was chucked, so Iron works for Finland. What are we expecting on this map then? Who, in your eyes, has the immediate advantage? I want to see if they want to, if Sweden change any players, if they're keeping this, because they've still got a couple of players in Spectate. Um, my initial thought would be Sweden, because Bloodface, and they've got a lot of Bloodface players in them, are very, very good on this map. So, my initial thought would be Sweden. Sparta, of course, amazing base defender on here as well. Yeah, see, here we go. I mean, Phoenix has just come out, and I assume Lithium is going to be joining very quickly. I think they're going to pick C2, I reckon. Oh, CP1. So we got CP1 for Sweden. Uh, I don't know what I think about that map. I quite like watching the quadrants, but I tried to commentate it uh, yesterday in your game and literally the most hectic thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it is, yeah. It's a, they've named the map wrong. That map should be called Hectic. It really is. The flag. It's, I've played it a little bit more now and it's one of those maps where the lines between attack and defense are incredibly blurred. You need everyone to be on the same page at the same time. You know, yeah. there's no such thing as straight attackers, straight defenders. Everybody's going to be able to do everything. Uh, just like to quickly say sorry to the guys on stream. The stream config is uh, almost perfect. We're sort of remaking it as I go along. We're not playing with simple items today just because I want to test it out on my stream. So, yeah, for today we're using... Pretty much everything on high quality bar pick lips, so why not, hey? So a typical setup on this map then, Betty Ironworks, what are, what are we looking at? Obviously CTF is 4v4, I'm gonna guess one flag death, it's one middle, two attackers, am I right? Yeah, the mid player now. There's, there's two ways of playing this. One, you can do very, um, your mid player is defending from home red armor and basically runs in circles, taking home red and med kit and just owns that area of the shaft. Yeah. Or they can be aggressive and take the red and go attack with it. The, if you're doing it defensively, they can still attack, they just tend to do it only at power up when they're really absolutely stacked to the teeth. Yeah. 
Yeah, and of course on this map as well you can't attack alone, so you do need to sync up, right? Uh, yeah, ideally, I mean, any map you would really want to be syncing up. On this map you can do some really good sort of... You've got plays. I'd like to think of them sort of in terms of like American football, as in you send a defender here in the water, make a lot of noise splashing around, throwing water everywhere. Get the defender looking over there and just have it. Your other attacker just drop on the flag and walk out. Yeah. You know, you can do all kinds of, you know, distractions like that on this map. Yeah, I mean, yesterday when we were watching NL against uh, you guys, I actually was saying on stream that Chira and Silent Sep just kept attacking in on their own. It really wasn't working at all. And occasionally we saw Draven and Scoop pushing together, or Draven and one of the other two, and then that's when they really started to, to bring the flag out and actually how they ended up capping in the end. When uh, three of them in fact sent up. Hopefully, we're going to see these teams sync up. At least two minimum. I guess there's times where you can't always sync up and you sort of have to sacrifice him for the, the damage against the flag defender. Um, yeah, you know, you just got to make the best of it. A map like this is fast, you just got to know to make the right decisions. Um, I think on a map like this, when Netherlands sent Silence and Tua to attack, it was, I, I was very surprised. I thought at the time that Silence would be defending. He's more experienced at that than yeah. attack. So, yeah, it kind of surprised us. So, uh, talking attackers here on this map, um, if you had to pick two standout players for both teams for me to try and switch on to uh, when, when I see fit, who, who would they be? Uh, attacking, uh, I assume it would be Zoo and Lithium. Okay. With Probably has it on occasion. I want to see where Sparty plays Three, and two, three, Finland's probably want to be watching three, Demo Thigo and Gerpen. Yeah. When you see Gerpen moving across mid, probably watch that, although he might be doing mid anyway. Now, where we are here live on the first map, Ironworks, watching Tiger off the spawn, trying to get on the enemy red. Actually picks it up and going to take out Zoo as well, so positive start for Finland. we have got a big attack coming in through the water from Finland, actually. They got the, the red and the, uh, the shaft before the base defender got one. So they really put, put a bit of an advantage if they could get out of the water. But they didn't, so Sparty takes that one nice and cleanly. Yeah, of course we've got medkit spawn... Med, uh, sorry, medkit. Regeneration spawning any second. Zoo actually opting to go for his home red armor before he pushes gambling on a late spawn. How important is the regen here? Not that important, I think, anymore. Because everyone just goes for you. <laughs> Maybe, for, like I said, distracting and taking on about four guys, but otherwise, no. We got a flag stick. No. Oh, that's a good one. I didn't mean to say that. That's my bind for spec flag carrier. Is that I'm not trolling them. I just didn't bind the key. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good times, good times. Nil nil then after that regen, almost a good positive pickup there for Tiger getting taken out in mid. So back to reset at the moment. I'm on whip on base defender quite stacked with that rail in LG. Of course, one of the uh, attackers has dropped that LG for whip in base def. Very important thing for those guys to do. Meanwhile, Tiger picking up the flag for Finland, going to escape out low. Not been uh, met yet actually. Maybe even cross middle on his own. Oh, they must have got it. No, oh, that was close though. We had a couple of good steals. Yeah, Finland to a flying star. Zoo's gonna pick it up for Sweden. This is dangerous, because he's got a med kit. And is the guy in mid's looking the wrong way. And he's over. Should be able to cap this one off. Only 22, does it get railed as he rocket jumps up? They should have been calling that, uh, I think. I think the communi communication might have not been quick enough. Yeah, I understand Zoo. Takes out Jerpa on that home red. So, uh, I mean, the home red armor obviously is very important to keep it away from the attackers, but as you were saying earlier, uh, sometimes those guys don't attack every time. Uh, they actually just stack up for the power up. Would you say it's better for that stack player to take regen or to let someone else have regen and then uh, attack in as a two? I'd, I'd actually say it's better for somebody else to have regen and make, because everyone just goes to the regen player and if you're going to send in the stacked red armor guy and everyone shoot the regen, much better for you. Yeah, Jeff has go, got the flag for Finland, regen's also teammate. spawned. Red flag return. I was in, I was in little, like you could see him, his teammate like marker through the wall, he just wanted to link up with him but there was uh, just enemies all over mid. And not enough health. 
I'm not watching Lithium at the moment. He's trying to take that enemy LG. Tiger just bought strength from the moment. Finland base looking pretty tidy. Wit's obviously not getting challenged too much, or at least he's having support from his teammates. He's very, very well stacked. I'm watching Jerpa at the moment because he's trying to link in with uh, one of the other Finnish players to attack here. Gonna drop for the flag. Oh, this is good. Get teammate to support, but just too much of a good defense from Sweden. Yeah, very fortunate that Zoom was there to shaft Gerpa. Otherwise, that he could have been well gone before the Sparty able to recover from that. on Lithium now in the enemy water from Medama. The base defender doesn't actually know he's so close. Whip there, spamming the wrong entrance. Actually got a teammate to support him there. Could be able to get it, but there's rockets being fired down from Demo up top. And uh, I'm not looking too good as Hazards will surely go down. And Finland just saving themselves ever so slightly. Regen in 30 seconds. Daigo just did a really important kill there on the Lithium because he prevented him getting to the red armor just before this regen and he saved it for his teammate. Otherwise they could have been in a lot of, they could have really been on the back foot if it's gonna regen. And there's fifteen seconds away. Hazard's already there on middle with that plasma and Railgun. Meanwhile flag's been picked up by Dimo, gonna try switch back to Hazard if he's still in middle. It looks like a good push in from Finland though. It's gonna spawn in two seconds. I'm on Sparty who's just firing grenades down, picked up by Zoot. Has quite a lot of armor though. We saw this yesterday, but the, the, basically the stack guy only attacked in his own. This time, Lithium's there to, to help oh my out. God. They've all got stacks. This is looking like it's going to be a cap. Yeah, say Even that. Even at this early stage. Tiger's also picked up the flag from Finland. Bit of a cross seal at the moment. Hazard's very low though. Defense. Defense. Oh my god, he hits the grail. Impressive. Thigo though is over to his side in the water. In fact, Zoo's just mirroring him. He's coming through the water as well. <laughs> Zoo's they're both about the same position, really. I mean, Dimmer's got the med kit, and he's just taken Mega and everything in base, so... Let's see what can happen. Uh, in 60 seconds till this regen, we're probably going to see a fight at least on one of these flag carries. Demo is doing a good job of defending himself with those rockets. I think that's uh, Hazard down there trying to LG everybody. Ah, uh, Lithium actually. Just stay on these flag carriers for a little while. Just to, uh, the guys we really have to watch. Holding the high ground with the flag is like really good if you move it around because the only way people can attack you really is coming up bounce pads and you can just shaft them and it's like such easy kills. So. Yeah, but I mean, Dimo at the moment has no armor. He's 100 to 0. If they were ever going to attack uh, Sweden, it probably would be now. So Dimo actually is. Should be able to get this red. Yeah, I managed to pick it up. Hiding in red armor, is that a good good idea? <laughs> uh, can be. Uh, I'd move now, really, because they know he's there. Regeneration. I don't know what set the base is in there. There's a probably might be hiding there because base is lost. Let's see. We've got lithium with regen. Let's see what we can do with this. Oh, he spotted the flag carrier. That's half the battle right there, just finding him while he's still regen. Yeah, the problem is he had no armor, though, so that LG from Demo absolutely annihilated him. Zoo's looking relatively unscathed at the moment. He's still got lots of health, lots of armor, and a med kit. Is Zoo, uh, is this a new nickname for him, or has he already been, always been tagged as this? Because I, I don't recognize his name. Uh, he used to be called Ath, I believe. Ah, I okay. Defense. Yes, now I know. There you go. They're both, both flag carriers about the same health. I wouldn't be surprised if, if the cross... If it was like a cross return, like both teams lost it. Demo does have that med kit there and has picked up the red, so I think slightly better now. Zoom meanwhile is still without any armor, so a rail and a bit more would uh, certainly take him down. I don't see any team icons around him either. Oh, Demo's going down, it's going to be returned, and it's going to be 2 0. 
I mean, Finland were very positive off the first 30 seconds, but Sweden now slowly gaining some lead. Only eight minutes in, I mean, uh, when I used to play CGF with Kick, we used to say it was never over until the last 30 seconds on this map. So even if it was to go 5 0 and three minutes remaining, I'm sure it would still be possible for uh, Finland to come back. Oh, yeah, absolutely. CP1 can be really exciting. We've done things like six flag comebacks in five minutes. We've been 5 0 down. And you think it's over, but no. And this map's exactly the same. How's it getting the flag in the moment now for. Uh, Sweet, and shit down. Blue flag return. Zoo on regen, let's follow him. He needs to find us some armor though. That regen really doesn't mean too much if you don't have at least 50 or a few shards to your name. It will go down ever so quickly. He has got that red now. And now we're hopefully we're going to see him team up with one of the other Swedish attackers. Maybe Hazard will find his way in with the LG. See him now met up by this med yeah. See, this is, you really should take the high ground if you're attacking with regen in mid or even better at your base, because otherwise you just end up going up bounce pads, and if they're doing a proper defence, you're going to die. You know, you'll always meet somebody going up a bounce pad. Yeah. And uh, you saw him just then, he had to run back to base, because there's just no way for him to get in. Which is good for Finland, they're really putting up a strong defence. Yeah, Hazard picking up a flag there, so he's going to go down straight away. I mean, I'm going to try switch back on to uh, Zoo. Oh, I think the flag's been picked up, actually. Yeah, it's dropped again. So Zoo's still stacked, actually, even after that little power run that he didn't do too much with. It's going to look like he's going to push in with Hazard here up top. How's it going to go down Mega Health through Zoo? Oh, he's actually again backing off. Sorry, Betty. No, no, Hazard caught the back of Wit then with Shaft. If he had a little bit more health, I think Wit could have taken a hell of a lot of damage. And we've got Zoo's got the flag, and he's going out mid. He's going to drop low mid and just hop over to his own plasma guard. And just drop midfield! Who's going to get it? Lithium 10 <laughs> HP. Meanwhile, Tiger's got the flag. 100, 100. Same position. It looked like the Swedish attacker was leaving, but he's just camping there at the moment. Maybe waiting wait. for his team to support mid. That was very good from Tiger. Just to very calmly hold an enemy med kit. That could have been... Because there's a common spawn behind him as well. Actually, I, there was something I wanted to ask you uh, as we approach this next region. The flag carriers, whilst they're trying to defend, is it important for them to be railing into mid from up top? And actually, sorry, I'm onto Spotty here. He's getting attacked by a couple of oh Finnish my God. players. I didn't even see that. What happened to Sparty? Uh, he got attacked by two different people with rails and LGs and was, uh, <laughs> quite frankly, annihilated. That Spotty was just trying to rail it back and it just wasn't happening for him. He has spawned with this region, though. He has five armor. He's to perhaps find a little bit more. I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't attack given that he is sweet and base defender. He'll probably just fall back with it. I was going to say that um, Sparty would be the guy you want holding it for Sweden. He's going to be so hard to kill. Yeah, I mean, as uh, Eki22 said in spec, you know, Finland did a great job there of attacking together. Let him go in mid, and there's absolutely no one in mid from the enemy team. He's going to find that very easily to get over. He can still be railed, but I think he's going to make a cap here. 3-1. Yeah, sorry to guys on stream. I only saw the uh, mid push there from Lithium. Quaylive decided not to switch. He's going to go straight in for another attack. One rail will put him down though, so he's probably not going to be able to do much here. But Wits if he can do a lot to the base staff, yeah, very nice play. Demo's going to pick up the flag, as is Hazard after that push in. Oh wow, Hazard's stack as well, Betty. Yeah, he got the red and he's taken away like all the base items as well. This is, this is so bad for Finland. If, if he gets out of this room alive, then they can even get a rebound if they keep the pressure on. But it doesn't look like they've got the players all over him. Yeah. Yeah, nice aim by Hazard, but just not enough there. Too many fins. 12 minutes in. Two flag difference at the moment. Just watching Wit on base defense at the moment, shutting down Hazard with Jerpa. Regen in 15 seconds. Looks like the team is setting up a little early here with the Swedish players with LGs down that lower. Position. Jab is at the top, but really not going to do too much against four players. It should be a Swedish region. Yes, Zoo's going to pick it up. 
Oh, good rockets from Dimmo. He's forced it away from his home red, in fact, stolen it away. This is it's really bizarre. They had to defend with regen against two when they're normally attacking. They're really aggressive work from Finland. Oh, it definitely paid off, right? Yeah, I mean, this regen. regen wasted. Yeah. Just going to have a look in middle and just to see who's controlling. Watching Hazard push over top with a teammate. Also, we're going to see a Tatno <laughs> Wit actually rouse him. So it doesn't look like there's too much action going on middle control, Betty. At least from what I saw there. No, it's the, it's the dumb thing nowadays. Like you said, if you move your mid player to the home red, then mid really does become just like just run through it. I mean, you might do a little bit of damage to the attackers, but there's not so much fragging now. Yeah. Hazard with the flag for Sweden, Tiger with the flag for Finland, he's railable though as he exits low mid, switching on to Lithium, sorry, not Hazard. He's uh, just waiting in base. And finally going to make his escape, it looks like he's going to be taking the same route we've seen all players take so far. No, he's going to go out of LG this time, probably Rocky jump up. Why is he dropped? This could be... I actually thought he may have dropped prematurely there. <laughs> had uh, the Finnish yeah. player, you know, put out a little bit more damage, he could have had it returned. So it actually worked out as Sparty saved him, but 4 1 to Sweden now. I don't think Thaligo expected him to drop it, it was so unexpected. Yeah, Tiger's actually picked Here we go, up. Here got another steal, he might make it out here. Oh. That's good from Zoo to come back. Because the defender was behind him, like, really far away with a rail. Yeah. Regen's going to be picked up by <laughs> taken out straight away by some grenades. Just a spider as they on from upper base. Demo only just staying alive here. He's found a few shards out, so he's going to go for red. No, his teammate's gone for red. He's going to shoot him down as Tygo picks up the flag for Finland here. He's actually going to turn around and try and kill everybody. Oh my god! Strange decision, maybe? I know I didn't get any choice, but Dimmo made some really good decisions then. And you know, when he saw someone go through his home red, he just pushed forward and they almost got a cap out. You know, he was a little bit unlucky to die for Zoo and then Zoo intercepted the flag, so you know. Yeah. That, that was really close. It could have been another cap there. Really good. <laughs> Thigo just getting crazy in red phase with the shaft. Just hitting everything. Oh yeah, very, very nice LG. What's he hitting at the moment? Actually, Spy's hitting 48 rail going 35 LG. Hazard 35 LG, 58 rail. Hazard really turning that rail on. 78 rail for Zoo. Oh my god, 29 LG. 40 rail for Tiger, 29 LG. 62 rail for Wit, 30 LG. Lithium, 30 LG. Oh, I, I, people keep switching, but uh, yeah, so very nice accuracy is coming out from both teams as you would expect in the nation. But... Hey, you've got the All Stars. Sweden, I think, would be one of the favourites to get through to you know the final. Yeah, I mean, Sweden always putting out a strong team, whether it's CTF, TDM, or even Duelers. They are really one of the quite live nations to really lead the pushes. So I go to shut down Sparty, and he's got support. Lithium goes down, and Gerber's got the flag. Oh, he hasn't got a lot of health, but he's just going to run for it. He might get the re. Oh. <laughs> There's a confluence of unfortunate events there. But look at Good this, watching though. Zoo at the moment in home base. He's got that red, he's got regen, he's got medkit. Hopefully we're going to see a great push in from him and Quake Live doesn't decide to switch off if someone picks up the flag. I see two teammates ahead of him. Lithium picking up the flag for Sweden. Going to try and find Tygo. Tygo's got the flag for uh, Finland now, so a bit of a cross grab at the moment. Zura tries to leave low. Going to take the bounce pad and cross mid. He's got people to support him as well as that Finland flag. Excellent. Which is, uh, sorry, the Swedish flag is almost... Oh my god! Time. Yeah, that was really good work by Finland. Teamwork, you know, kept it together. Yeah, very, very nicely played. Zoo's doing very well though, he's an absolutely no for defense. threat at the moment in base. I 
Zoo the play hitting that 78 rail 80% now, 81% putting together that impressive, really. I mean, I've been watching his LG, and his LG doesn't exactly seem impressive, but that railgun does not want to miss. Yeah, leave it on him for a little while, however boring it could possibly seem to some people, as he uh, tries to defend his flag in base. I know he's in a little bit of trouble, actually. Yeah, was that LG again letting him down slightly? Doesn't seem to be able to lock on with it. Oh, oh really? <laughs> Go for just like a frag movie, rocket, and rail combo. <laughs> I mean, we're going to have to see a return now here, though, from uh, Finland so they can make this 4 2 because there's a minute remaining almost and uh, quickly falling away from Finland. Still possible, we could probably One, argue two, that. With the stack of Zoo, not too probable. If they win the cross cap, there's a chance they could get a quick rebound while everything's still up in the air and make it 4 3. I think another cap beyond that is going to be really pushing it. But that's a, they'll have to cap it now for, for all that to happen. Yeah, we're just watching Zoo at the moment, the guy that needs to drop it and. He really doesn't look like he wants to go down. He's got 107 HP. He's got a med pack, no armor. So, you know, there's a lot of players in Quake Live, even the top ones, that forget to press that med pack button. But here in the Nation Cup, I highly doubt Zoo would do that. And it is looking like Sweden are going to take this map. 4 to 1 now. Sweden so to the last 10 seconds. He will go down. He will get returned in. It's going to end 4 to 2. Final steal. Done. You still make it. Red wins. Doesn't want it. So yeah, four to two here for Sweden. Zoo. Sixty-five to thirteen. Wow, thirteen death. That's not not many at all, is it? Spotty dying nineteen times, the base death for Sweden. Base death for Finland dying thirty-three times, if I'm correct in saying wit was base death. So uh, certainly represents the four two score, I guess. It's a little bit deceptive because he wasn't holding the flag, so he could have been defending him and dying lots. Ah, know, the yes, we did have two big cross steals, didn't we? Ah, that's a very good point, actually. But yeah, very, very impressed with Zeus Rail in that first map. And going on to, did we say CP1 was second map, or am I just making that up? CP1, yeah. yeah Sweet so map choice. I mean, with Zoo's Railgun here on CP1 when we finally switch to it, that's got to be something Vote he's going to be confident now. going into. Vote passed. Oh, yeah, and Sector, yes, yeah, so I've just seen your private message and it is only the first map. This is the second one, which Finland have to win to take it to a third. Great about Japanese castles is that it's not a map where TDM will get you anywhere. This is a team of people who have weak aims, but really good team play will triumph on this one. It really is a CDF map. I have increased the cross her size and enabled weapon bar. The weapon bar was such an amateur mistake. <laughs> People can all slam me. I will gladly take it. Oh, we've got Dibbe in. For those of you who didn't play Quake 3, he's a superstar on this one. Look, old school Quake 3 player. Oh wow, watching Jerpa. I've never seen that before. He, he was rocket jumping across middle. And you know the steps going into, um, well, into main entrance, just to the left of them, Betty, he was just bouncing and he sort of slid up the wall. Yes, yeah. it's actually a pretty straightforward job, yeah. Is that is that always been on this map? Yeah, I think it's easier in Quake Live than it was in Quake 3. I've just done it again, yeah. Or well, someone has. Ah, oh, that's a new trick, learn something every day. And people want Gamma up a little bit, yeah, I'll get that. 1.2. Hopefully we'll have it okay. What do people think about non-simple items? Let me know in uh, Level Up. I kind of like it. Everything looks so pretty. No problem, AKM. Very sorry about that. I'm interested to see the... Uh 
the fourth is for Sweden. It might be Hazard who's just going to rejoin. I mean, Hazard Phoenix's. has that hit scan aim, doesn't he? You know, especially the LG. I mean, there's no LG on this map, but an MG may have been reduced to four, but you know, there's times where you need that MG aim here, especially off the spawn. And I'd like to see Hazard play again. But it could be Phoenix, as you say. I know Phoenix has a good weld. That is Phoenix. Actually. Blue flag return. Yeah, this map it used to be um, before the recent update with the shotgun. It used to be able to just like shotgun spam as defender, but now because it's weaker, it's all about rockets really. Yeah. So you'll just see attackers going in and rocket jumping on the defenders. It's like yeah. Kind of I actually played this map, um, you know, before they nerfed the shotgun, I mean, it's 100, I think, now in CTF, but it was 110 and a smaller spread, and I was playing against Raiden, I'm not sure where Raiden's from, is he playing in the Nation Cup, you know? He's Netherlands, I don't think he plays for Nations, though. Ah, but anyway, I was trying to base defence, and he just come down the stairs and put, like, a million damage shotgun shots into my face, so I'm kind of glad, in a way, that it's now mainly going to be rockets, I guess, that the base defenders are going to have to deal with. It's sort of a less, uh, a less look involved, I guess I could put it as. Oh no, this map has got so much luck in it. Oh, is it still? <laughs> it is an absolute lotto map. <laughs> I don't think you as a UK team especially like it, am, am I right in saying that? Uh, I actually like this more than Ironworks. No. I do, yeah. Impressive. I'm with Durfel on this one, I like this map. Unbelievable. You and Durful, I hate you both. But then I am an Ironworks fanboy, I just like standing in the middle of the map, of course we just saw guys in just LG and railing people, so it suits my boring style. Whereas this, you have to actually do stuff. I think one of the best thing about this map for me is that you really do have to be on the ball for your, all your decisions. You have to have a really good judgement about what to, what to do in any yeah. given moment. And that's what CTF's about. It's not just running at the enemy flag for 20 minutes or whatever. Yeah, Draven actually saying, don't hate CP1, you CS dude. But, what? Don't hate CP1, I like it. I don't know if it's CS new. Yeah, I think he's referring to me. But if I'm going to say, I will blame you. you. I, I, just a curious, has anyone showed you a screenshot of our CS game last night? No. <laughs> Did he okay. bottom frag? Ask, ask Dave about it later. Okay. I'll ask him. Dave, of course, Deuce, Fanatic Deuce, also UK TDM MCT. Scoot says, shut up Draven, so basically they're having a conversation through <laughs> our stream. <laughs> I think... With this, with this being Sweden's map, I'm going to have to favour them on it. Especially okay. when they got, like, Dibby and Sparty, you know, old schoolers, played this map to death for 10 years. I don't know if anyone in Finland played Quake 3. I think don't think Gerpa did. I think he played Quake 2. So, I, I can't speak for them in experience. Yeah, I mean, if anything, considering the accuracies I saw come out from Zoo and Sparty on that rail, I, 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 rail may not be used that much, but I, I've seen so many clutch rails on this map to, to take out quad uh, flag carriers. Apart from, of course, Jazz's where he's aiming at the flag carrier and then the aim bot moves on to another player, but, you know, uh, I've seen a lot of rails come and uh, shut down these flag carriers, so I'm going to be in Sweden. Gerpa is a machine in all that. Of course, I, that's going without saying. Machine but yeah, and Counter-Strike as well, it seems. He is, actually, yeah. My gun doesn't work properly in Counter-Strike. Uh, my my is in Counter-Strike Source, but people tell me Counter-Strike Source is easy compared to Hobbit Six. So. Never really played it competitively. But here we go, we're going live on the second map. Finland against Sweden. And Finland must win to take it to a third. Yeah, Sweden of course with Dib and Phoenix here. They were of course missing on Ironworks. Watching Sparty off the spawn, no doubt the base defender as he stacks up. So actually going to switch off him and onto Divi who's looking to push into enemy power up. And um, what do power ups mean on this map as, as we sit on Divi? Uh, first of all, they're on rotation. Well, not really on rotation, they're random. It can be either quad or regen. And they're hugely important. You know, if you get quad, yes, go for it, go get caps, go kill things. But if you get regen and, they, and the enemy gets quad, then you're like in a world of pain and you may just hand it over there and then, because you've got to defend with it. 
like no point really attacking in my mind. Yeah, meanwhile Zoo picked up the flag for Sweden, his escape out main, there's that rail come out. Unlike Jazz actually went to the right flag carrier and managed to return it. Sorry, I had to go there. Dibbo, Dimo's going to pick up the quad for uh, Finland, Phoenix for Sweden. So let's stick on Phoenix at the moment. He was the second quad pickup. Using that shotgun, of course, more powerful than TDM and TDM what I've been watching recently anyway. He's going to pick it up off the uh, drop. And he looks to push in with Tiger. I've got, I, I'll show that to NBC afterwards. I don't know what it is, but I'll link it to him. <laughs> What's that? Stream. Anyway, we've got the flag steal. Zoo's going out main with 100 HP. He's just going to hold it up here and get for the all, wait for the all clear. And presumably do some sort of trick jump over mid. Yeah, I mean, for those that can see, we can see yellow triangles when he looks towards middle. Those are actually his teammates. Which rumbled him, though. Yeah. Oh, Gerpa, though, 1 HP. Red flag return. He's taken out almost straight away. Uh, when we see regens on this map and when you see quads, is regen sort of a, a defensive power up and quads are the attacking power up? So, you know, it would work like that. You know, you get regen, you sit in base, you get quad, you attack, or. or, it, or what? it depends on the combination. If it's double regen, you can attack with it, really. If it's yeah. quad regen and you've got the quad, you're going to attack and you'll probably see their regen in defense. Okay. And vice versa. If it's two quads, then it's. Rumble is the jungle, you can so first power is where there's two quads. The second set are going to be spawning in 30 seconds. I think we've seen a flag pickup. It's just not switched. Yeah, we have. Stupid game. But don't worry, I've got a bind. So we're all good. As zoo escapes lower just before power is spawned as well. So people are going to be perhaps wary of that. Zoo tries to push out. Going to get shut down and return though. I'm going to try to switch on to a power up and hopefully nothing will get picked up. No, we're watching Dibby, who's in enemy base, going to pick up the flag. So we won't be watching the power up as he escapes our main. This is actually a good time, isn't it, Betty? Yeah, it's a really good time to attack. Keeps them on there in the garden, you know? And if you get out main, if you time it right, like that, you can get over mid and cap. So much chasing it oh, right behind rockets it. Rockets coming down! Three oh my god! They're gonna get it! They might get it! Oh my god! Unbelievable. Gerber is a machine, he got the return. Very, very nice play by Gerpa. Watching Dimo now with that regen. Looks like it was dropped in base and only just picked up given that it's got 15 seconds remaining on it. It uh, might have been a double regen. It's, uh, yeah, it was double regen, and so he's got both of them. Oh, oh yeah, actually, yeah, I'm looking on the left now. The times are very bigly separated. Dibby's so bigly, whatever. Uh, Dibby's picked up the flag for Sweden. Probably will go down here, only 52 HP. Oh, he's got Zoo to support. Probably should drop the flag to Zoo. Although he's picked those 225. Now I'm going to try to swap direction, but. Wow, shut down by wit. That was really good by Finland to um, not be passive and just stay in the courtyard and actually go hunting and not let him stack and, you know, that, trap him at the uh, balcony. Yeah, and for those that haven't noticed or would completely mm. ignore me, that we all have got power up separated now by around about 20 seconds. So I'm going to guess both teams are going to have to commit to each of them, which uh, is going to change the dynamic of this map. Oh, hey, we got a flag seal coming up, and just like you must go down to wit here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've got a similar thing with what happened to Sweden and Netherlands, where Netherlands had a power up about 20, 30 seconds before UK's. Wait, Sweden, Netherlands? UK, Netherlands. Yeah. And it really, you know, screwed the UK. Because you could get yours and then attack the enemy and then attack with both. So, it, they, Finland are going to have to attack Sweden's power up. If not get it, then at least damage it enough so they can't just run in. Yeah, we got red power spawning soon. I'm going to go out of pod so we can just see who's there. Jerp is there with Dimo. Looks like it's going to be Finland's. So, taking the enemy's power up here, which is good news for them. This is, yeah, this is really good news for Gerp, but really good play. It's exactly what they had to do. He doesn't even need to attack with it at the moment, he just needs to hold it and let uh, his team secure his own power up. Looks like he wants to go in on his own though, Betty. We'll probably end up switching to the other regen as he gets picked up, yeah. Which is a shame, I'm going to try to switch over to Jerper if he's still alive. Yeah, hopefully we're going to see the other regen push in and support. Good, Dibby's got the flag and he's got a lot of stack as well actually. He doesn't need to take this fight, but he's going to anyway and... 
Oh, it's down to the demo shotgun. Do you think he should have just escaped then rather than uh, look for that front? I just, yeah, well, I just spammed that entrance and just got out the back route. But uh, Zoo had regen to quickly dealt with it and we health bubbles. And the score's still nil nil after six minutes. Is this a typical CP1? Low, low scoring? Uh, it can be if everyone's making the right decisions. Yeah. Watching Dimo just holding base at the moment. Uh, is it too bad? I'm gonna guess it's two base defenders on, on this map, right? So I mean, with six minutes in, a bit late to discuss. But uh, what's the other defender gonna be doing if Dimo's in base? It doesn't have to be two base. It can be one base, three attack. I mean, it's so fluid. You're just constantly swapping between the two. Yeah. You pr you'll probably have one in base if you got the power up. But it really does depend what the rest of your team's doing. If you got the flag, then everyone's probably out of base, and it's all crazy. So. We've actually got most of Finland in their home base at the moment, just defending right before the enemy power up. Sparty's there on his own, so looks like he's gonna be a Swedish home power up. Sparty grabs that. Is he gonna attack though, the base defender for uh, Sweden? Probably gonna have to if he wants to secure that other one. Yeah, this could be bad for Finland. It's a quad, it's not a region, it's a quad, so they can actually attack us quite easily, and they've got the flag. Down straight this is, it's on Gerber to defend his power off, and he does! Gerber's such an influential player. Look at Sparty's Sparty, spawn though. But that spawn is ridiculous, and Wit saves it. <laughs> yeah, Ooh, just managed to lost about 20 there. seconds a quad. Yeah, yeah, just managed to come out of pop to show everyone that uh, <laughs> unlucky spawn, but actually was uh, okay for the And they've got the flag. Here we go, the good teamwork, he's bringing it to quad as well. They're going to leave together, this could be big. He's going to take that. This could still go to Finland. Oh, oh my god, Gator trap. Did you see that rocket? I oh, saw that rocket. Saves the day, he's finally returned by Sparty. Oh, epic play. <laughs> that, was oh, that was absolutely brilliant to watch. Because it was really intense, yeah. You know, it was a really good opportunity for Finland. Yeah, and uh, Finland got to be careful because remember they did lose the first map Ironworks, and the closer this gets to 20 minutes, the uh, nil nil, the, the more intense it's going to get for Finland. We've seen a cross pick up at the moment. Jerpa, very low health as he pushes out main. He's already been spotted. Probably will go down. Oh my God, Dibby the rocket! Well. He's got a really good shot here. Yeah, he's still going. He's going to make it to the enemy. Main. He's gonna make it home, I think. He's got a teammate securing enemy main. His base is lost, and they're gonna meet, I think. No. Dib's picked it up already. Oh my god, I wish I found him. It was over. Wow, Dibby! Oh my god, I go? No! Oh my god, wait! <laughs> and now it's Sweden with the initiative. He's out the gate of trap, and he's going enemy main to quickly dealt with. Oh my god. That's the kind of thing that can happen on this map, it's just everything's happening at once and you just got to be there. It's a big cluster, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty it much. is. To uh, not say that profound word. I thought they, I, uh, I thought Finland would hold the flag. I didn't see where Zoo came from because I thought Wit uh, shot Phoenix as he was going to return it, I think. Uh, but I didn't see what happened there because I was following Dibby. Well, Dimo is pushing in at the moment with this regen for Finland, of course the well, actually, Zeus picked it up for Sweden as well. I wonder if you want to go back to the Finns there as Zeus taken out. Demo's also been taken out, so it looks like both places are uh, more safer than that. I've also heard on this map that uh, quite a lot of. Well, I, I, I want to say wine, but I also don't. About the spawns. You know, if you die in, in base, you seem to spawn in middle or more often on here. Am I right in saying that? If you're a defender, you do tend to spawn in the enemy garden quite a lot, which, you know, as a defender, is the most annoying spawn in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't be further from your base. But also, you know, you saw Sparty die in the enemy garden, and then he spawned there, and, like, got the best spawn to get pick the quads. It's, like, really yeah, so fortunate that Whitman came back. Kind of works so, both ways, I guess, though. You know, so, you know, if you have lucky spawns, you know, it can win you the game. 
are you a fan of this that that sort of situation? You know, lucky spawn, or do you think there should be like a a different way to go about it? I mean, I'm not saying there is a different way, but you know. Hang on, you got Gerpa with a bag. I'll answer after Gerpa's done what he's done. He's gone for the rocket jump. You're probably going to go down here. But he's got two teammates. He should be able to get the flag. No. Um, so yes and no. I, I like that there's a random element to the game, but I don't like how things are decided by it. You know, it's kind of a catch-22 in that sense. We've got another flag steal. Yeah, Tiger Good. picking up is the power spawn, actually. Oh, sorry. Oh no, Gerpa just a little bit behind. You know, if he if he made the rocket jump, he could have. You probably would cap that. You got Dibbit attacking with armor in the back of a quad. Some stellar rocket work by Wit forced him away. Double quad here. Gonna actually should pick it up himself. Oh, he's actually doubled. That's actually quite a nice play, wasn't it? Pick it up, stack the quad to 35 seconds rather than 30. Off the spawn and then kill himself. Yeah. His teammate Spy picking up the flag for Sweden here, all the way in the enemy base. Probably got that spawn you were talking about earlier, given he's over there. <laughs> he's going to be taken out by a Jerpa. Going to try to the quad. Wit uh, is going in with 100 armor with quad. He's taking a rail. It's up to Spy. He's breathless. And the rocket's going to take him down. He, this is looking good. He's got a teammate to support him. Quad flag Harry is going first. It's good. It's only 38 HP though, there's going to be two 25s here for him, but he's in an awkward pits position there. This is where you can give him a bit of a run around in his base. Yes, it's good, go, run. Yes, this is excellent, this could be a cap for Finland. Going this way, he could meet a spawner though, one of those unlucky yep. ones. He's got to be careful. There. His teammate's got to hug it, you see there he is, hug his, you know, stand by his hip the entire time. He's just so his teammate dies, he's going to be really careful now. No. He can't take a rail. And so they see him. Flag as well, so he has to slow it down. Oh, very fortunate to avoid that rail there. He's like in trouble, and he's going. And Zoo's going to be over to his side in mid, and this might be looks like it's going to be one 0 for Sweden. Tips also picked it up off the rebound as well. Only four HP though will be taken out. And then you got power ups as well. Dib's got it for Sweden. Is a regen. We don't know what the other power is going to be just yet, but it doesn't have any armor, so we'll get shaved off very quickly. <laughs> There's some uh, trick moves and rocket jumps. It doesn't quite save him, though. It looks like Tiger's actually going to attack rather than secure his home power. I'm going to try to switch over to someone's there. It is Wit on the quad, so hopefully we can watch this without it switching. He's got his uh, front end up as well. Switch, switch rockets. Yes, good. Excellent. So you're with going in there. This is a really good route for him to get in because he gets a shock in this way. Teammate as well. Jerapa with that rail gun. That guy you really want to be defending here as well. Oh, he's got two teammates. This is looking. Oh my god. A little bit rash, maybe. You would not really expect someone to be standing in that doorway with a no. rocket launcher when you've got a quad, though, let's be honest. But, it, no, it's, it's unexpected, but sometimes you do get people hiding to, like, on the pillars. You can hide on the pillars by the side of doors with, like, a shotgun, and there's people who just come out and just put a shotgun in their face, and not only does it, like, blow them into a corner, but you deal 100 damage. Yeah. Watching Dibby and Zoo at the moment attacking in for Sweden. They're going to try and escape main. Zoo actually going to dummy, maybe probably go back the same direction, I would think. He's been met by two people. This could be good, actually. There's only a rocket launcher from Dimmer. Just oh. wow, nice roll from Win. Dibs picking up the rebound, mate. He's got a nice sack of armor. What, what does he need to they do know. to get out on his own now? Who was that behind him? Wait. When he's he's not playing with dynamic lights. You can see him through the wall if he stands there. Oh really? Oh yeah, I remember. I should probably enable that on the stream. I? It would make sense. We'll do that for next time. So we've got a quad, and it's with Zoo. And it looks like he's trying to get into enemy bait, but he's always taking a lot of damage from his grenades, actually. He could go down here, and in fact, he probably will. Demo, not yet got it. Oh. Don't look at that, he's, he spawned an enemy garden, he could have gone for the enemy power up then. Because nobody's. 
Uh, Whip was there. So now it's a double court attack for Finland. This is really bad for Sweden. They need to all defend. Has that yellow as well, so he's going to be even harder to stop. Should pick up the shards to the left. No, he's just going to leave them and not even going to pick up the 25 to make him 100 HP. Pretty strange that he wants to push him with just 80. But... Here we go. All of, look at that. All of Sweden defending. Not all of them. Dibby's going in to attack. It was almost a smart idea for Dibby to do that. He may have had the call that you know most of Finland were pushing in. But... Yeah, he, he may have spawned enemy garden, you know, so like running back to base is, may not be your best decision. But yeah, about the spawns, um, I don't like the randomness because it takes away from skill. I mean, if it's random, yeah, and you're sure. always getting the fortunate spawns, then it's not really anything to do with you, like, playing back, any, any, just... I mean, like, no, no matter skill you can do, like, you can't do anything to change it. Yeah. In that sense, is it, if I make that clear at all, no, it does. just muddle through it. Yeah, no, yeah, it does make sense. For sure. It's just, uh, it's basically out of your control. You either get them before you don't, and then if you do, then, wow, if you don't, then it's already been decided for you, so. Watching this, oh, yeah, though, as he picks up the fact of Sweden, and he's taken straight away by the uh, It's going to be quite dangerous, actually. I just saw an attacker go into the enemy base, and the power up spawning as well, so they could get the enemy power up, which they've done. Yeah, he's not got any armor, though. He's just he's and got he's... a teammate to support, though, Betty. Dibs also picked up a flag for Sweden, though. He's taken a lot of damage, and there's not the health bubbles aren't up, either. Those the clutch rails from Finland just keep saving. Time, time, and time again. And just, just go in there and rocket jump on them, do as much damage as possible. The quad's going to be over. How did the quad even die there? He just—he sort of landed in front of Zoo. I, I don't think he created. He must have no one's, so no one's taken any uh, sorry blue power up for ages. Uh, yeah, but that, he just sort of died, he, like created or something. Uh, Zoo on the flag for Sweden as uh, that demo is pushing in for Finland with the regen somewhere, but Zoo's crossing middle now. If they cap this, it's likely to be good game. I can't see anybody there. Looks like base is safe for them. Ah, two minutes. Now two minutes. Not only defender need to get two more, but they still need to win this map in overtime. And Dibby's picked up their flag. It's not looking good. Would Dibby do well to hide, perhaps, and just drag this out a little bit? Uh, probably not. I mean, they're going to be hunted for him, so... We can give them the run around. They're off Finland. No, no one there mid. Oh. Blue flag Fortunate rocket there. And the spawner as well to sort of keep him penned in. Watching now. Here we go, they need to make this one count. And he chose the wrong side. It's a little bit unfortunate. Maybe he's got to make the best of it. He's got teammates to back him up. And he's got armor as well. Spawn. Look at that spawn. And of oh my god, Gear for the machine hits the rail. Oh my god, Dibby! Just Dibby. hiding in the base. Dibby has been that player all game that just seems to be always in Finland's bottom. Always in uh, Finland's flag room, no matter what. Whether it's power ups, whether it's you know just a normal attack, he's always been there and saving the day there. Here the we go. Game. Should be 2 1. 35 seconds, Betty. Need There's to... only one power up as well. Oh, sorry, I didn't see the end of it. Sparty's attacking a quad. Oh, no, <laughs> I can... for a second there, it almost looked like I could tell blue from red. He's defending the quad. It's a good decision. <laughs> There's three Finland players jumping down at him, but that's probably a good game. I don't think they'll be able to make it from spawn side. Timo's got the regen, but it's probably futile now as we enter in these last seven seconds. Sweden, gonna take this into winning, of course, first map, Ironworks, I think 4-2. And now here on CP1, Japanese Castles, 2-1. How did that game go for you, Betty? I think, if, I don't want to be like, biased or anything, but I think Finland, when they um, had the flag in their flag room, like I think it was about 10 minutes in and they got returned and then Sweden capped off it off the back of it yeah. I felt like I don't know what all of Finland's players were doing maybe they got bad spawns or something but it felt like 
it sh that should have gone the way of Finland because of where the positions, where the players were on the map. But Sweden have been really good supporting and with the power ups as well. Gerpa though was absolutely phenomenal in his decision making. Yeah, I'm almost uh, sort of heartbroken that Finland weren't able to bring that back because they hit so many clutch rails onto 